Hey guys! One of the most interesting aspects of old style Japanese buildings is these roofs and the trim that goes along with them. So this is an old temple. You'll see sort of roofs like this like on old temples, old shrines and castles and things like that. Have a look at the cap, the ridge, the ridge along the top there. It's like a wall of tile. Extremely heavy. And the idea is that all those tiles are interlocked with each other and then that heavy ridge along the top puts weight down on the whole thing uh, which is sort of ornamental but also the practical purpose is that because the, all the tiles are interlocked that extra weight on the ridge stops the roof getting lifted in uh, strong winds in typhoons and things like that so that's the practical purpose for those ridges but also obviously they had a real strong decorative uh, aspect to the to the roofs as well and then if you look at these caps uh, the big cap at the end and the small round caps you can see this one's got fans got old Japanese fan design on them but they can have all sorts of things oh there's a there's a line but they, they quite often have uh, uh, monograms of the different uh, lords of the area so or sometimes they have the Edo monogram so different parts of Japan and different cities different uh, owners different bosses different rich people <laughs> uh, all sorts of things this one actually says water don't know why but it does so yeah, interesting. All sorts of different designs with all sorts of different meanings. Sometimes no meaning at all, sometimes just decoration. And the castles often have big things up there, like big animals and things at the end, at the corners, at the end of the ridge there. Quite amazing, aren't they? So obviously the weight of these things is incredible, which is often a problem in earthquakes here. The walls, if the walls give up, uh, the weight of the, the roof can come down. And quite often after big earthquakes here, you'll see images on TV of nothing but roofs because the walls have collapsed and the roofs come down in one piece. And all you can see is roofs like this all over the place because the walls are gone. So these are actually some close-ups. We have to have a couple of piles of tiles lying around. So these ones are about oh, 50, 60 years old probably. And you can see the way they, they're made there with those round caps. Oh, they've got... not quite sure what that says. It says something about the area, the city. Um, so it's possibly some information about the people that made it. And there might even be some information about the style or something. It was a bit hard. The kanji there is a bit baffling. But uh, you can see that the tiles have got the round cap on them and then the design is so that they all click together, they all clip together to hold each other in place and then they've got little holes in them for tie downs as well. So quite amazing, they last really well. Quite common to see really, really old castles at 500 years old with, with tile roofs still, still in really good condition. And that one we think is probably uh, where a fireplace would have poked, a chimney would have poked out through the top in that rectangle there, probably. So that was probably up somewhere on the cap, maybe, up on the ridge, maybe. And then a fireplace, fire chimney may have pushed up through the middle of that, possibly, not really sure. And here's an end cap off a ridge, just a plain one. This is what a normal one looks like from a normal house. Just simple, plain, generic, a generic roof cap. <laughs> so it's not nothing special about it. It's the same as the guy next door would have sort of thing. And the little loop in there that they could uh, tie it on with to make sure it didn't fall off. Obviously extremely heavy, you don't want these things falling off. That's actually another thing in earthquakes in Japan. you got to watch it. People tend to go running outside in an earthquake. But when you do that, you've got to watch out for the tiles coming off the roof because if tiles come off the roof, 
the big heavy things they're really heavy each one of those is really heavy so you don't want them sliding off the roof on you that's actually a fairly new house that one's only about 10 20 years old so it's a pretty new house but you can see they've gone with the the caps again these guys have gone crazy look at this <laughs> their little ridges all over the place and that again that's 10 20 years old that house that's pretty new but really heavy see that the ridge along the top it's like a wall it's a wall of tile just imagine what that weighs if you've seen the guest house video you would have seen inside the roof big heavy uh, beams basically big tree trunks now there's a, a sort of a modern version they've kept the ridge and it's sort of the tiles are sort of old style but they're a lighter tile not so heavy and they're not so ornamental and here's the modern style that's actually a simple very simple tile roof and that's actually solar panels up there that you can see that's a modern roof so that, that's sort of normal now you'll see them the guy next door's got you can see there the black roof next door had the same with the solar panels and that's just straight out terracotta roof so some of these are actually still tiles terracotta tiles uh, and some of them are sort of a oh, cheap sheeting thing there's all sorts of different styles now, the modern styles that are really light. They've gone really light now because the frames of the houses are really light. They couldn't put a big heavy tiled roof on, on one of those modern houses. It'd, uh, it'd break. So anyway, I hope you found that a little bit interesting. More videos coming soon.